Hello and welcome to the ETF show. Joining us now to talk about a recently launched Tactical Advantage ETF with the ticker FDAT is Mike Caffey, CEO and President of Family Dynasty Advisors. Well, Mike, it's great to have you with us. Uh, good morning, Jenna. It's great to be here. Appreciate the uh, let me join and, and visit about uh, our, our new ETF that we've created. So thank you, Smart. Well, we're excited to talk about it. And many investors might be new to Tactical Advantage ETFs. What makes FDAT a distinct choice for investors in the ETF market? And can you share a little bit more about Tactical Advantage ETFs in general? Absolutely. So uh, the Tactical Advantage ETF particular is FDAT. Uh, we pronounce that FDAT for, for simplistic sake. And where we're a little bit unique in the market is we actually incorporate both tactical um, and fundamental analysis within our, our, our program. Um, and the philosophy of the ETF is really designed um, on the fact that we believe that you know, the long-term growth potential of, that we're all striving for in, in the marketplace, um, you know, you can't achieve a long-term goal without focusing on the short-term volatility and, and the negative impact the market can sometimes have. So, you know, we're really focused on with ETF. When the market feels that it's uh, kind of an annual temper tantrum, we really minimize that drawdown, and that will help us in the long term achieve those uh, long term results. In what ways does this tactical advantage ETF's method for managing volatility stand out compared to its peers? Sure. So you know, all active managers have a similar trade in that we all we all rebalance our portfolios. At the time, it could be a little different. But we all rebalance. So, you know, and the gist of that, as, as everyone probably here knows, is, is really going from an asset that, or an asset class that maybe you, you feel more comfortable with. So you're going to overweight that one. And maybe you underweight something else just based on current conditions in your, in your own independent analysis. For us, we, we do all that. What's unique with, with FDAT is that we actually treat cash for money market funds. We treat cash as, as its own asset class. And so when we rebalance uh, based on our analysis and, and market conditions, we actually will overweight cash or underweight cash. And by doing that, but kind of removing some of that uh, risk out of the market and or putting that risk back in the market, we're able to maximize the growth potential, but also minimize the volatility during market drawdowns because we'll have an overweight to cash. So that's a big dis distinction from us versus other managers who rebalance. Now, many funds might lean towards specialization. What drove your tactical advantage ETF to embrace a wide ranging sectoral exposure in its portfolio construction? Yeah, so for us, we we kind of approached it from, we, we, as we built this out, we wanted to have an investment that would, would be, um, resonate with the retail investor, but also with the institutional investor. So for us, um, FDAT does have about 14 holdings, uh, 15 if you count cash. And it's all U.S. based. But the for a retail investor, we want to be the core holdings of where we think we could fit into a, a retail investor. Is is now that core holding? We're diversified. We're actively managed. There's about fourteen, again, fifteen with cash assets in there. And so, for a retail investor, we could be the core, and then they can come in and, and add some other on the fringes, other investments that they see or are fit and, and applicable for their risk tolerance and their goals. On the institutional side, I think we also can fit though, because you know, on my, on, for their side, as a more broad-based and maybe more uh, diverse portfolio, we believe that F that could be the the low volatility kind of sleeve, the low allocation towards um, lower volatility assets that might help offset other assets that may have in a diverse portfolio. So we really believe in, in the design of F that was really trying to focus on both the retail and the institutional, and kind of fill the need for for both. And in a market where passive strategies are often championed for their low cost structure, what unique benefits does this tactical advantage ETF's actively managed approach bring to the table? Well, you know, I'm definitely, um, you know, I'm definitely not a fan or belief that, you know, money, money doesn't always buy better. Um, and so, but there's also in certain situations where, you know, the, a boat's not a yacht. So there are times and places where, you know, it's worth spending some extra value or spending some extra money to achieve that value and what we call the value proposition. And so for us, there's two things that we believe we bring to the market with, with us. You know, if you're invested in FDAT, uh, the first thing you're looking for is to actively manage. And that's what we do. You're actually absolutely getting that value proposition from our strategy. We look at our assets, all 14 of, of our holdings every single day, everything gets looked at with the buy, hold, or sell strategy. 
Um, and so you're absolutely getting your money's worth for that active management um, overlay. And two, we also, you're approaching the, the low volatility. So for us, uh, you know, you're also involved with us because you, you want that long-term growth without all the, the volatility or at least minimize volatility, I should say. And and because we overweight our weight cash, like I mentioned earlier, that allows us to uh, normally, at least the best we can, minimize the volatility. So for us, the value proposition is really making sure people who invest with us who are looking for active management and low volatility, they're exactly what they're getting. How does FDAT strike a balance between reducing volatility and also maximizing long-term return potential? Yeah, our, our secret sauce uh, really, Jenna, is, is um, the flexibility. Uh, we're very nimble in what we do, or very focused on what we do, and so that's that's the secret sauce. We, you know, we're ever going there, getting very active management, so when the market um, turns and moves higher based on whatever fundamentals, yeah, we're, we're right there in the market. When things kind of turn, and again, the market feels a temper tantrum, we're very nimble and flexible to to overweight cash and, and adjust accordingly. So our our flexibility to react to the market um, is is really our secret sauce. And finally, any risks that investors should be aware of, Mike? Yeah, you know, typical typical scenarios. You know, obviously, uh, past performance doesn't guarantee future results. We've, we've all heard a, a bunch of times, but you know, for us, uh, you know, we we strive to maximize growth. We strive to minimize uh, less than the volatility and market declines. But obviously, uh, like everyone else, we can't pick the tops and we can't pick the bottoms. So uh, we we strive to do the best we can. But obviously, there is there is a risk and and uh, and involved with managing or being invested in if that in the market itself. Well, Mike, thank you so much for joining us. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And thank you to everyone watching. Once again, that was Mike Caffey, CEO and President of Family Dynasty Advisors. I'm Jenna Dagenhart with Asset TV.